Hey everybody. So you've watched the two-minute video. Um, it's a quick general popular science introduction to the idea of fractals in nature and fractals being everywhere. Um, it's, it's a branch of mathematics that was um, developed by uh, Benoit Mandelbrot down at Yale. Uh, he's passed away since um, and it's a, a way of understanding visual uh, sort of how creation, everything in um, biological and material creation is organized in terms of growth patterns, um, and it explains a lot of things. So as you could see from the video, um, sort of taking off on this idea of a spiral and the chambered nautilus, why don't we go ahead and create um, a project that is similar um, and uses the same principle of growth and transformation. So I'm here in Photoshop and I'm going to say File New and I'm going to make sure that it says inches over here instead of pixels and I'm putting a width of 12 by 12 and a resolution of 200 and set your, gray, your color mode to grayscale. Click Create and let me close these things so if you don't see layers and actions, I can show you how to find them. So I'm going up to the top with Window, and I'm going to click Actions, and that we're going to use Actions, which is a script writer, kind of. I'm going to toss this and toss this, because I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. Okay. And let's see. Go to Window and also choose Layers. F7 also, and that brings up your layers. Great. So what we'll do is start with a square, a very simple square, and I want to start on its own new layer and not put it on the background. So I'm going to click the new layer button, that's the trash can. You should see layer one and it's highlighted. Come up to the left and grab the rectangle marquee tool. Come down to the center and hold down shift and alt to make a perfect square, not a rectangle. Okay, and you can move this around if you want and put it in the center. You'll see um, these two crosshairs show up if you want to put it in absolute perfect center. And next I want to stroke it, which means to fill a black line around it. So I'm going to say Edit, Menu Item Edit, then Stroke. And I'm choosing a width of two pixels. Color, I want it to be black. So I clicked on the color box, location, center, opacity, 100%, and leave the blending mode to normal, and keep that unchecked. So hit OK, and then deselect. Control D is a shortcut, or select, deselect. OK. Uh, it looks gray because of the way my video card is working as I zoom in. You can see it gets to be black. So OK. All right, so let's create an action. What I want to do is copy this layer, rotate it, and enlarge it. And rather than do it 15 or 20 times manually, if I write an action, um, it makes the process go so much easier. Um, so what we do is, with the actions here to, next to the trash can, click the New Action button and name it Fractal. Click Record, and now what I want to do is copy this square. So I'm going to hit Control J, and that makes a copy of that layer. It's sitting right over the old one. And then Control with your pinky, and then the letter T, Free Transform. And at the very top, under the Options for the Transform tool, set rotation value to 15 degrees, and width to 115, so I'm just highlighting the last two digits and putting in a 15. Same thing with the height, 15. And then hit the check mark to set it, or hit enter twice. And then we can stop the recording, so I'm going to hit the stop button right here. Click that. Great. Now, every time I click on the fractal and hit the play button, it'll do that. If I, I forgot to assign an F button to it, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to hit the play button and notice what happens. We have a nice spiral starting to 
generate here on all on each of these corners, so four spirals and all. So just keep going till you fill out the frame. Super. And then to save the image, first uh, layer, come up to the layer item here and flatten image down near the bottom. And then file, save as, name it Fractal1 and JPEG and know which folder you're putting it in and then you can upload it to the blog from there or into your Google Drive. So, great. Let's try a new one then. So I'm going to control A to select all and then hit the delete button and fill it with foreground color uh, or I'm going to click white down here and say OK to that. And starting over again, I'm going to create a new uh, layer. Oh, what the heck, let's try a circle right here, with elliptical marquee, come to the center, hold down Shift and Alt, click and drag with Alt and Shift so that you get a perfect circle. Okay, you don't have to center it, it doesn't matter. And stroke it, edit, stroke, two pixels, just like we did before, Control D to deselect, and then just hit the play button again. Ah, I didn't rotate it. I'm getting a concentric circles. It's just growing. Or maybe it is rotating. That's very interesting. Of course, it's rotating around its own. Um, the diameter, uh, I'm sorry, the radius of the circle is in the center, so it rotates it a little bit, but we can't see that because we didn't change or alter that. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Um, in a sense, this is also another kind of fractal because it's a self-similar shape that keeps growing by a predetermined amount and keeps repeating itself over and over again. Okay, let me come down here and delete all these. Clicking the trash can, delete, yes. Create a new layer. Here's another trick for you. Coming down over on the left, a new tool um, is the custom shape tool. It looks like this squiggle here under the arrow. And then I'm choosing the polygon tool. And this is a little bit different, is it creates a path first. And you can click up here to set how many sides. So three would be a triangle, five is a pentagon. Now let me throw in five. and Notice that there's another couple of things up here. The stroke automatically strokes the line for us. Fill automatically fills it, and it's filling with black. I'm going to do leave it on black for a second to show you something. And notice that the stroke size is 1.22. I can just change that to 2 again. And then I come to the center and click and drag, and I get a pentagon, and notice it filled with black, but an interesting property of, of these uh, vector shapes is that when I click on the fill color, I can click no fill over here with this red slash, and it leaves behind just a stroked outline uh, of this shape. Great, now let's just play our fractal program again by hitting the, and see what happens. That's kind of nice. And same deal, we'll flatten these down, save it as a JPEG, and um, if you want to start with a smaller triangle, that's okay too. Um, you could experiment with uh, different shapes in here. Um, the custom shapes tool, how many sides do you want to add? Um, and there are other shapes as well, although like arrows, um, and other strange items here that you can uh, just out use an outline uh, to see what might happen. Okay, so post your images to the either the class blog or uh, on the on your Google Drive, and see you in the next project.